I can't make coffee. Hey guys, how you doing and welcome back to another day in my life, e.g. the only content I'm making nowadays apparently. So I'm going to do the intro here while I've got Stitch in the background because he gives me moral support. Cheers buddy. How? Nice. Over today I'm doing a day in the life rather than a week in the life. Just a quick rundown of what my life is like as a forensic science student. Now as you can see there's two things I want to inform you on. One, it's Early as balls, because I have a 9am very soon and I woke up to record this intro. I'm literally using my studio light and it's burning out my cornea because it's like 7 in the morning. And two, I was actually meant to record this a little while back, um, but the day I planned on recording it, the night before, myself, Louise, Holly, Hannah and Hannah's boyfriend kind of went out on a sesh. And to be honest, we were just complete degenerates. <laughs> in a basically a comatose state in which I missed all my lectures that day. Don't use me as an example on how to run your life because you'll end up like this. Even talking about it is bringing back flashbacks. I just went hard. So hard. I remember dancing with an inflatable penis. That's not even joke. I think I have the clip somewhere. And, and, and I think I made out with an inflatable flamingo. Okay, enough enough of the complete degeneracy that is my life. And now we're gonna get into what a normal day in the life is like for me. We have two slots of learning today. We have a 9 a.m., which I have a forensic toxicology practical for four hours. And then following that, I have a two hour lecture on forensic taphonomy, I think. Yep, forensic taphonomy. Uh, it's a guest lecture, so I have no idea what that's going to entail. Also, do you like this? I got this. I, I, I got this for Christmas, and I, I love it. I still love these huge windows, by the way. It just makes me feel so dominant. I am daddy. The first thing I need to tackle is um, down there. I'll explain in a bit. It's going to be entertaining for you and hell for me. But firstly, this stinky boy needs to become not stinky. Ah! I am wet. I am dry. I am naked. I am dressed. See, I, what I have to leave in literally under an hour to get to my lecture, but there is one thing I have to do beforehand. It's this shit. Louise and Holly had to stay here because Hannah had her boyfriend over and they had nowhere to stay and they don't live in Huddersfield. So they took my bed and I took Holly's ear mattress, which means I now have to do this all on my own. Oh. This whole thing has to go in here. I'm so fucked. Let's start by like unblowing it. Where's the blowy thing? I found it. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's like a button. Bro, look how quick that went. Get out! Get out! Don't you f***ing judge me. Pull your ears out. Sorry, Ali. Alright, next step. Folding this up. Oh, this is already gonna be way too big to go in there. Okay, it's currently like a sausage. Okay, I got this. This ain't no match for me. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Just have mercy. It's gonna be so much easier with other people. Ah. Okay, this isn't going well. And now I'm getting fed up, so this is really great. The lighting's horrible over there, so I'm moving you. Yes. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I actually did that. I did a ting. I did a fucking ting. So, it's meant to be like, spherical. It. It's about as spherical as my nipple. OOTD. Now I will say. 
that this course is definitely making me more of a morning person. And now I'll be completely honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hi, voice over Matthew back again, how you doing? So as you can see here, I'm getting ready for my lab practical four hours, basically focusing on drug stocks, solutions, and dilutions. Now I know some, I know a lot of you don't care, but I know some of you do at the same time. So basically we were focusing on being able to confidently do a serial dilution and an independent dilution. Now if you're curious to what that is in more detail, because obviously I don't want to bore the entire audience. And there, it was that. I swear it's not as bad as it looks. And that's coming from the controversial kid who wasted thousands of the emergency services money because he decided to get stuck on a cliff. Dickhead! If you're wondering what we wear for the labs, we just wear a lab coat and our safety glasses. Now when we're in there and we're actually performing experiments, we will also wear safety gloves, but they are, we get them in the lecture and then dispose of them before we leave. All right, back in my civilian way, but the lab was good, and now I'm gonna go home because I need a snack, because we finished early, so I'm gonna run home, get a snack, and then I've got another two hour lecture later on, so let's get. All right, and uh, a couple hours later, I'm home. Anyway, I came home for a reason. I was gonna go to the library. But there's one thing I need. Mm. Buttery toast. I literally adore buttery toast. You can't tell me otherwise. Don't bully me! Right, okay, toast inhaled, and I have still got a decent amount of time before my next lecture. So I decided what would be smart is due to my complete degeneracy the other evening, <laughs> that I would go over the lecture that I subsequently missed the next morning. Like a good, responsible student adult. <laughs> ah, I'm currently looking the dead guy's butt. Best addition to a uni ever. I can basically lie my ass and take a nap while I wait for my lecture. Okay, so my forensic taphonomy lecture is about to start. It's a guest lecture. I have no idea what it's going to be on. I'll try and get footage. However, taphonomy is usually quite graphic things, so I'm pretty sure I can't. I mean, due to the fact that the t definition of forensic taphonomy is the study of how organisms decay and become fossilized. I'm not sure YouTube would give me my ads if I did that. This lecture can't come fast enough. I'm really bored. By the way, thank you so much for the support on my forensic science student videos. 10,000 views. What? That's sick. Thank you. Let's go for 100 likes on this video because of that. I'll probably get two. I shouldn't be allowed in this institution. Hi, I'm back. I currently changed locations because I went in and my friends aren't in there yet and lecture didn't start for 15 more minutes. So I'm just gonna wait here for them. They're not even coming to this lecture. I swear I actually do have friends. Like you've seen them before. They exist. I think. Next was my forensic taphonomy lecture and now I can confidently say this right here was the same facial expression through the entire lecture. That's because we were made to watch a real human body autopsy. Now I don't, I'm not, I'm not fucking squeamish, but when you saw the shit that I saw, and don't worry, I'm not gonna describe anything, but if you saw the shit that I saw, that was grim. If any of you are sick and twisted, I know all three of my friends enjoy this. You're all psychopaths, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, believe it or not, they've showed us this on YouTube. It's actually on YouTube. It's age-restricted, but it's on YouTube. I highly suggest not searching it up, but I, at the same time, I know some of you are really interested in this stuff, so I'm only telling you for that reason. If you're young, please genuinely don't search this up because you will be scarred and I am not being blamed for your nightmares. Okay, good job. All right, bye. Now, as much as I love working at home, sometimes I just can't seem to crack. Also, if you're wondering why I'm sitting by my window, I apparently think I'm an edgy teen. But today's one of those days where I can't actually focus on um, my work that I'm meant to be doing and I keep getting distracted by YouTube. So because of that, I'm gonna go to the library and hopefully just have to focus on my work because I have no other... Can you shut the fuck up? I'm in another lift. Level five. Thank you.
so I'm heading home. I'm tired, I'm hungry, but most importantly, I'm hungry. Ooh. Uh, All right, how you doing? So currently it's around it's currently it is eight o'clock and this is the time that I would venture off to the gym Yes, yes, I go to the gym shut the f up But I just literally got out of my chair because I was being a potato for the last three hours ready to go I'm look I'm all dressed swaggy and I realized my stomach is eating itself. I'm so hungry I kind of Forgot to eat. Well, no, I, I snacked, but I haven't eaten like a proper dinner, which is really, really stupid of me. And I shouldn't be going to the gym, but I'm really fucking hungry and I really want to go. So I'm currently eating serious mash shake, 500 calories. Fill me up beforehand, but the gym closes in an hour and I'm currently on X Games mode. So we're going. <laughs> Fine, I just gotta inhale this shake. <sighs> It's literally right there. It's right there. Please don't close before I get there. Look how dead this place is in the night. It almost looks kind of creepy. All right, let's hope the gym isn't closed. I'm actually kind of worried. It's not usually this empty. The gym, because we all love to get hench. Now, what I, I'm pretty known for my decent gym montages on this channel. I like to make a good gym montage to make it look like I actually did some work. But today, there was actually, it was really busy. It's a student gym. What do I expect? So this is pretty much the only footage I got but I swear I actually did work. It was tiring, it was exhausting, I ran out of water, and then I left. Hi there, gym session, done. Also, I wanna show you how much I weigh a second, and there's a reason for this. One minute. You, you, need, you need to come with me. Okay, so why is that so substantial of 100? It's 168, I just had my jackets on which made it like 170, but let me tell you why that's so insane. So recently, the reason I've started the gym and the reason I've started eating a lot healthier and a lot more is because I found out recently that I'm slightly underweight. And when I left for America, I weighed 60 kilograms, okay? My eating deteriorated as I got back into like the uni lifestyle, which meant I roughly went down about two kilograms at 58 kilograms. That in stone is 128 stone, which is just underweight for someone of my height and age. I've been eating healthy and I've also been using the serious mass like protein shake for about eight or nine days now I want to say and I've put on about eight to ten kilograms. I went from 128 stone and I'm now 149. My goal is 170. What the fuck? I'm so happy. Oi, oi, chicken nuggets. Okay, so I'm home from the gym. Now, no matter how good your workout session is, you've got to have like a nice big ass fucking good meal on top of that to like m maintain everything. You see my nipple? Okay, let's get out. Oh, big daddy. Right here, we got my two lovely healthy wraps filled with protein and vegetables and Ah. But there's one thing I forgot. I forgot rice. I forgot to buy rice earlier and now it's 8 minutes to 11 and everything's closed So I don't get my rice. Rice is just so good with the fucking BOOM! I can already tell though both of these. They're so packed. So I feel like they're both gonna put me into like some horrible food coma. I can feel the food coma. It feels so good. Ah. And now I think it's literally midnight right now. I'm gonna first make my shake and then I'm gonna get into bed. So let's, let's, we'll go do that first and then we're gonna get into bed. The best part of the day. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Why does my shake bubble? Why is it alive? Okay, I realized watching that back this looked actually disgusting, but I swear to you it's really fun. Good. Cookies and cream flavored, so I mean, how can it not be good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright guys, and that's pretty much gonna call it for the vlog. Obviously this was a day in the life vlog rather than a week in the life vlog, so I hope this gives you an insight as to what I do every day, and kind of the reason I don't film day in the lives. I usually film week in the lives, because it gives me a chance to actually uh, be with my th friends throughout the week, and then then them give a bit of content for the vlog, because obviously in day most days, I'm on my own doing work, and that's fine, because a lot of my friends don't live in Huddersfield, so they go home straight after lecture, which means I can't vlog them, etc, etc. But, if you guys nonetheless did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Say goodnight, Stitch. Ohana means family. Nice.